y'all, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for giving me a small portion of your day. If you hear the smoke detector beep, the batteries are dying. They started dying in the middle of the night. Isn't that when they always die? And Ben is going to fix it when he gets home. But anyways, today we are going to be doing the last part of my deep cleaning and fall deep cleaning and decorating series. I'm going to be working in our master bedroom as well as doing some stuff in Liam's room. And I'm really excited that I've actually gotten most of this done at this point. My house feels really nice and fresh, which is great. A great feeling moving into fall and Thanksgiving and Christmas. So anyways, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in here. And so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, so we are starting by stripping all of the linens off the bed and I included my mattress protector and the bed skirt. I stripped it all off. Alright, and then I decided that I wanted to give our mattress a little bit of a refresh, so I put some baking soda in a glass jar, and then I added a few drops of citrus essential oil and I shook it together until the oil and the baking soda were pretty well mixed. And then I actually sprinkled this all over our mattress and let it sit for probably about half an hour. And then I put in the first load of laundry. It was the comforter and the blankets. And then I vacuumed all of the baking soda off of the bed. And I will say that our mattress did smell nice and fresh after this, which was really nice. All right, so now I'm swapping over the laundry and then I'm gonna be putting in the sheets and the bed skirt. Now we are taking laundry out of the dryer and putting the sheets in the dryer as well. I will say I didn't wash my decor pillows because I've actually washed them fairly recently. Now I'm putting everything back together, so to speak. I'm gonna put the bed skirt back on the box spring and then remake the bed. I will say this is also something that's very difficult to do as one person. And yes, those are Star Wars sheets that I'm putting on the bed because we are adults. <laughs> If you aren't already, follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to be a lot more active over there. I'll pop my handle on the screen for y'all. So changing days, just taking care of some pants that I needed to hang up, and then we are going to deal with this nasty cobweb. And did you see that huge chunk that got vacuumed up. So next we're going to handle my nightstand. It was kind of a mess and I just needed to do some decluttering and some reorganizing because it was just getting a little bit out of hand. And that's us on our wedding day. Look at those babies. And I keep things like my robes and my heating pad and things like that in this, so. And then I'm gonna give this a good wipe down and I'm gonna wipe down the base of that lamp as well because it's absolutely disgusting. 
And actually up until this point, that lamp has not been plugged in. And then I got a bee in my bonnet and decided to move my nightstand. And actually you see that spot on the wall that's missing paint? We're gonna fix that. Patching the paint in our bedroom has been something that's been on my list for over a year. And I actually finally conquered it in this video. I, was just, I just decided, you know what, I need to do it. This paint color, by the way, is Bare Silver Shadow, if you are interested. We really, really like it. Here's another area that I see all the time. So I'm wiping down the baseboards and then I'm just gonna tape it off and paint it really quick. And even more areas, a lot of this was done by me as a mega pregnant lady. So I missed some areas, especially closer to the floor. <laughs> Oops. Obviously, as I'm doing this, I'm also cleaning the baseboards as I go. So now we're moving on to wiping down this little bookshelf we have here. There's not really a lot of stuff on it, but I'm going to replace this eventually. But at, up until this point, it's, but at the moment, it's just an empty space otherwise. So I might as well just leave this here. And when we get something that suits me better, then we can replace it. But for now, it fills the space nicely. actually doing something that's a little bit of self-love this lamp had not been plugged in at all in this house and I decided to plug it into a power strip because I didn't have enough outlets so that way I can read at night before I go to bed so I have been wanting to take steps to read some more and I felt like this was a really good way to do that and so yeah just a little bit of a self-care kind of thing so I'm showing you the top of this dresser as you can see it's absolutely filthy so I'm gonna take everything off and give it a nice wipe down. And eventually I'm hoping to also replace this furniture. Our bedroom furniture is a little bit of this, that, and everything. And I would like to get a dresser that's long and short that goes under the window. But for the moment, again, these fill the need and they work for our purposes. So I'm gonna clean our fan because it was gross. I will say none of my fans have been as nasty as the one that was in our kitchen. That was by far the worst one but this one still needed some help. And it was a lot harder because I'm gonna be honest, I was standing on my bed to do this. I didn't put the step stool up until I was putting the globe back on. And you saw the light was flickering. The pull chain broke. So we have the light bulb currently unscrewed, but so now I'm just pulling up the tape off of the uh, baseboards, which is really satisfying to me. And then I'm gonna do a vacuum. Don't worry, I saw I missed that piece of tape, yep. <laughs> so I'm trying to show you all of the lovely baby handprints all over my mirrored closet doors, but they needed a good wipe down and these have the same issue that I had in my bathroom clean with me that I mentioned where there was stuff stuck on the doors that I couldn't get off. So if you have any suggestions for that, please let me know. So I'm going to actually clean out the tracks of our closet doors because as you can see, they're really dirty. I never would have thought of this, but then when I was down there wiping off the doors, I noticed how grubby these were and they look much nicer now that they're all cleaned out. 
So this is Liam's closet, and I've kind of just been throwing the clothes he's outgrown in here kind of haphazardly. So I took everything out, all of the baby stuff he's outgrown, and some of it I tried to relocate to a couple of areas in the house, uh, which didn't really work that well, but that's okay. We don't really need his closet for much at the moment. Obviously, as he gets older, we're gonna need to put more of his things in his closet, but since he's our only child right now, it's okay if his closet just has baby stuff that he's outgrown in it because we don't need that space for anything else. So I have his clothes sorted in space bags and there's an index card listing the size, but I ran out of space bags. So things he's more recently outgrown, I've just kind of, I'm just kind of shoving in the bin to be honest with you, which you can't really see, but that's okay. So now there's lots of playing around with where I'm gonna put the bins because I have a full bin of clothes that are too big for him. A gigantic bin of clothes that are too small for him. That bin I put in the hanging organizer is his memory bin. And then I have a bin that's empty that I'm keeping underneath that organizer to put the new round of clothes that he's outgrown. Now I'm gonna do just a really quick tidy over here, fold up this blanket and straighten out his toys that we keep in here. And then this is the stuff that I pulled out of the closet that needed to get relocated, but some of it did make its way back in here though. Now I'm gonna vacuum his bedroom as well because it had been a little bit since I had vacuumed and I'm getting in the crevices and everything too. So with that, I'm going to be concluding my fall deep cleaning series. Thank you so much for watching, following along with me. It's taken me a little longer to get all of this content up and edited, uh, a little bit longer than I expected it to take, but that's okay. It's done. My house feels really clean uh, with a lot of the, you know, now it's like I can just do my regular cleaning and not feel like I'm missing something. So yeah, there are some things I didn't show. I didn't do Liam's baseboards because I already had already done them. I had also done, um, sorry about my fire smoke detector. I put a couple of things back in this closet because I didn't have room for them where I was trying to put them. So anyways, uh, if you need more cleaning motivation, I will have my full cleaning playlist linked in the, linked in the description. I will also put my, uh, fall cleaning playlist if you want to see the rest of my fall and cleaning fall cleaning and decorating series i'll put that down there as well um uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do so i upload mom content cleaning motivation lifestyle about twice a week and i hope y'all enjoyed this video and this series and i will see you in the next video bye